Hey guys, this is Trey with uh, Smart Home Starter and today I wanted to do a quick video on why your Samsung TV might be a little bit dark. Um, this is a Samsung, I believe it's a TU7000. Uh, my screen is actually not dark, but I wanted to give you a few things to check uh, to see if we can help you uh, solve your problem. So first, before we jump into this, I wanna call it a few things. Now, if your TV is older, I want to remind you that TVs don't last forever and it may be time to replace it. You know, typically you can get five to seven years out of a TV on a good day. So if you're anywhere past that, it might be time to upgrade. Also, if you're if you're watching your TV a lot, you know, TVs can last between 40,000 to 100,000 hours of watch time. So even if you're before that, you know, five to seven years, you might be uh, in need of an upgrade. Your TV might also be affected by some burn-in, meaning a static image kind of like what you see on the screen now has been burnt, literally burnt into your TV, which is causing your picture to be a little bit dark. If that's the case, there's really no way to fix that, so you're going to have to upgrade. And then last, if your TV was recently affected by some sort of power surge, again, um, no way to really tell you know that's going to be more internal damage but you know if your power has gone out recently or there's been electrical issues on your street um, then and your tv was connected directly to an outlet uh, you're you might need a new tv and and just to add to that you know we always recommend you plugging your tv into a surge protector so if there ever is a power surge you can uh, make sure to protect your appliances so with that, there's a few things we're going to check. So on your remote control, what I want you to do is open up your settings menu. And we're going to first take a look at the picture mode. We can scroll through these to see if that actually helps us. Um, currently, I'm on standard since this TV isn't having any issues. That works for me. So I'm just going to leave it here. But these are things that you can check to see if your picture improves by changing the uh the mode so what we're going to do now is go down to the general tab we're going to slide over and we're going to run down to power and energy saving now this might on your tv be shown as ambient light detection uh, but we're just going to select this and you can see right now i currently have the brightness optimization turned on so brightness optimization is going to automatically adjust the picture brightness based on the ambient light level. So if your room is dark, it's going to automatically increase the brightness of your TV. If your room is light, it's going to decrease it, right? It's based off of how much ambient light is in that space. I currently have it turned on, but when it's turned on, you do have the option to set a minimum brightness. So if you were to select that, we can turn this up or down it's not doing a very good job of showing you what's happening here um, but this is just one thing to check on your end so we're going to go back and then from here we're going to scroll down um, i currently have this turned off but if we turn this on we're going to get brightness reduction and what this is doing is reducing power consumption by adjusting brightness uh, settings so i think you can kind of see how this is affecting our picture by just turning it on and off. You have, the you have other options here, but you know, pretty sure these are not gonna affect why your TV may be a little bit dark. So I definitely would recommend playing with these settings a little bit. And again, if, um, if your menu doesn't look like this, it's gonna be the general tab um, and the ambient light detection uh, area or the eco mode area. So that's that's all I have today. Uh, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you could just like and subscribe and we will see you next time.